Hello there, how you doing? I hope you're doing well. It's Phil Thatch and earlier today I was here at the Tennessee River Park and I was riding one of the Chattanooga bicycles that you can rent and uh, I made a video about that. I'll put it up in the corner or maybe at the end. But one of the things I remember passing as I was riding the bicycle is this small garden right here. Really beautiful garden with lots of flowers that might attract butterflies and that sort of thing. And I thought I would come back and make some photographs of these beautiful flowers that they have planted here in this small garden. I have the Canon R6 and the 100 millimeter macro and I have a flash and a diffuser. I'm not sure if I'll even need it but uh, I'm going to get started working on these flowers in this beautiful garden right now. Well I started out working on just flowers and I found that using this setup with the flash and the diffuser uh, the photos that I was liking the most were really, really up close, where you just see the very most up close details of the blooms of the flowers instead of further back with more of a, uh, the flower as the main subject, but the background also comes into play. So I, I worked on that for a while, and, and as often happens to me, I found myself standing right on top of a nest of fire ants and completely ignoring the growing amount of pain coming from around my ankle. And then finally I took a look down there and realized, hey, I'm in a nest of fire ants. So uh, that was fun. It happens to me every summer. I get to working on photography and next thing you know, I have little whelps all over my ankles from fire ants. But uh, anyway, let's look at some of the photographs of flowers. The garden had these flowers that I had never seen before and I've learned that they are called corn flowers or bachelor's button. And these are European flowers, and I was really excited to make photographs of them. I thought they were just absolutely beautiful. I like the completely unorganized outsides. And this is another flower that was growing there. I took a really up close shot of it. This flower has lots of tiny blooms. But back to the cornflower, I love the very unorganized looking outsides of the bloom and the really organized looking middle of the bloom. And here is a coneflower that I made a photograph of. I wish I had made this photograph from a little bit further back so I could have cropped it 16 by nine, which is the way I like to present photos. I am really enjoying this setup with the Canon R6 and the Mikey MK320 flash with the RF 100 millimeter f2.8 macro lens and a really cheap diffuser. It's working really well at home in the studio and out here in the wild. Here is another cone flower, and this is more like the flower photographs that I made a lot of last year. This kind of rule of thirds from the side sort of a shot. And here is another corn flower, and you can see lots of tiny, tiny little bugs on this photograph, on this flower, and this more up close style is kind of what I've been doing a lot of this year. This beautiful uh, golden orange, golden yellow flower was really pretty and I made one really up close shot and another kind of up close shot with another bloom juxtapositioned in the background. And look, it's another corn flower. Lots of different colors of those in this garden. This was the only one that had this rich purple bloom and I had to get a shot. After working on the flowers for quite a while, I switched over and, and started to look for flowers that had insects on them. And uh, there weren't a whole lot of those, but there were some. And it was fun to uh, make macro photos of the insects on those flowers, some insects that I'd never photographed before, including one green bug that was very patient with me as I worked on my shots. The first insect that was big enough to be an insect photo instead of a flower photo with a tiny insect on it was this little bee on this beautiful, beautiful red flower. And I was able to identify its species by doing a Google image lookup and it turns out that this little bee is an eastern calligrapher. Beautiful little bee, very, very small, but has distinct markings which made its identification possible. On the other hand, this insect, I could not figure out what it was by doing a Google image search. But I did think it was interesting that it has six legs like most insects do 
and it uses its front too like antenna. It has antenna, very small ones, but it keeps its front two legs kind of airborne and they look like antenna, but they are connected like legs. After a while of looking for bugs and having only uh, moderate success, I went back and made some more photographs of the flowers. I love to make photographs of flowers that are in the beginning phases of blooming like this flower here. I think they are so beautiful before they bloom, sometimes even more so than when they bloom. And look at this amazing ball of color. So beautiful and hairy. And here is another color variation on the cornflowers that were growing in that beautiful garden that I was so happy that I found and enjoyed photographing. And then I came back and the super patient green bug was still there. So I made one more shot of it. I was amazed that this bug was still there and I was also amazed that it didn't seem to move hardly at all while I was making the photographs of it before and then I came back and photographed it again and you can see again in this shot how it's using its front legs kind of like antenna. While I was down here at the fishing pier making some video clips I noticed these wild daisy like weed type flowers growing along the side of the concrete path to the fishing pier and I took a moment and made a photograph of them. I thought this photograph turned out really nice and I lowered my ISO to 100 so the background would turn black and so all you could see was these beautiful flowers in their beautiful some in focus and some out of focus arrangement. All right I think that's going to do it for me here today at the Tennessee River Park near the Great Blue Heron statue where they have a wonderful garden and I also worked at a nearby fishing pier and one other small garden, probably 20 yards away from the big garden is where I found that green bug. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, take a minute and give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. And maybe subscribe and hit the bell. And as always, I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye-bye from the Tennessee River Park, Chattanooga, Tennessee.